Nintendo just randomly decided to drop a huge update trailer on us. Not just for Earth Day, but for the coming months as well. As with every Nintendo reveal, there's more that meets the eye, so let's dive in and break it down. The first update is arriving April 23rd, just in time for Earth Day. So naturally, we see Leaf. He's back. Oh, I've missed him. Leaf offers us some items to purchase from his garden shop. We know the Nature Day event runs from the 23rd to May 4th, but we don't know how often Leaf will appear on our islands. He resides in the usual special character spot at Resident Services, so it is possible that we will not have access to him every day. Maybe he shows up on a random day? Maybe the first and last day like Zipper? We'll have to wait and see. When we do get access to a shop, he has bush starters and flower packs available to purchase. We see pink and white azalea bushes, as well as orange and yellow tea olive bushes. <laughs> Want to make tea. These will be little baby bushes when you buy them, just like the tree saplings you purchase from Nook's Cranny, so they'll take a few days to fully grow. Unfortunately, we don't see exactly which flowers are available to purchase from Leaf. My hopes are that these flower packets are different to those available at Nook's Cranny. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch online or friends to visit, collecting each type of flower is nearly impossible. The store only sells three types of flowers at a time, and island tours get you maybe one additional type. Hopefully Leaf sells extra flowers, so plan to stock up if you're looking for a specific flower. I thought did go through my head that they could be hybrids, but I highly doubt that's the case. Though maybe they are primary flowers with better genetics to get hybrids more easily. But I'm probably just wishing for too much here, as usual. The next screen shows us fully grown bushes as well as hedges. We didn't see the hedges for sale in Leaf store, so I'm assuming they're actually a craftable fence. Maybe it's a recipe drop from balloons, maybe Leaf gives you a special recipe, maybe I'm thinking way too much into this and I should just wait for the event to occur. In this scene we see the player plant a fully grown bush. These either work just like trees, where they require fruit to eat and dig up, or maybe they're like the flowers and only require a shovel. I'm thinking the former, but again, just wait and see. Look at them, shoving Raymond in our face. What are you doing, Nintendo? Why do you torture us so much, teasing us with the unreachable, incredibly expensive cat? Another addition to the Nature Day event is special Nook Miles Plus goals. The one the trailer shows is for planting three shrubs. Just like what our Nook Miles Plus goals usually are, just, you know, Nature Week themed. Next we see the return of Red. He will appear on the north beach of your island, which you can get to by utilizing your ladder if you have yet to unlock terraforming. He shows up on his traveling merchant boat, polluting our fresh air and sneaking his way onto our islands. Boarding Red's vessel, we notice a few things. Firstly, there's a lot of art. In past Animal Crossing games, Red was the guy to go to to buy, and hopefully not get ripped off by, expensive or rare furniture items, as well as artwork. He also has a bad habit of selling counterfeit goods. Red has had a few jobs over the years, but in New Leaf, his main shtick was trying to trick you into buying forgeries. He would sell four different items. Three would be forged art, and one would be authentic. It was your duty to find the real art piece. A similar mechanic seems to be implemented this time around. We can even see the camera zoom in to this hanging item, presumably to let us get a closer look and decide if it's a complete fake. Also in past games, Red would list furniture for far more expensive than it was actually worth, so look out for that this time around. But where do we display these masterpieces? Why? In the upgraded museum, of course! I think most of us saw this coming. We've been able to donate art to the museum since the first installment of the series. It seemed silly to take something like that out of New Horizons. We do get a quick look at the inside of the art gallery, another beautifully designed exhibit. God, they really went all out with this game. I do wonder if you have to complete specific tasks to upgrade the museum. Maybe you need a certain number of donations, or maybe the update just upgrades the museum for everyone. I wouldn't be surprised if the museum closed for a day to renovate though, so hopefully this won't happen again. Although if the this happens at the start of May and new fish and insects then, oh god no, not again. Looking a little further into the trailer, we get a glimpse of the back wall. Right now, these stairs lead to absolutely nothing. In the trailer, however, there is a black hole in the middle of the two stairways. I'm assuming this is the entrance to the art gallery. It makes me wonder if they would add extra entryways for either like a constellation room or the cafe. Tiny spoiler, stop listening for five seconds if you don't want to know, but a recent data miner did find evidence of some type of cafe returning to New Horizons. Okay. Spoilers over. Starting May 1st, we will be able to purchase May Day tickets. These tickets will be available until May 7th, so use them while you can. And for those wondering, no, it's not May Day like May Day our airplane is going down, it's May Day as in the celebration of springtime. These are different types of islands, seemingly made of hedge mazes. We also see Rover! Oh boy, there he is! 
as blue as can be. You bet I'm gonna be sprinting through this thing to get to him. But what does he offer? Possibly crafting recipes? Maybe he's just trying to find his way back to the train station. Either way, he's here. As this character makes his way through the maze, resources and tools appear along the route. Why would you need tools if you show up on the islands with all your tools anyway? Is this an Eventide island s situation where your items are taken away from you and you're left with nothing to solve the puzzle except what you can access on the island? May 18th to May 31st is International Museum Day. Apparently, the singular holiday lasts two full weeks. We will be able to participate in the Stamp Rally. The trailer doesn't give us too much information about what the Stamp Rally is or how it works, but we do see the stamp podium in the museum with specific exhibits listed. Could be a scavenger hunt, maybe goals to catch specific types of fish. Again, we'll have to wait and see. Finally, Nintendo has added wedding season to New Horizons. Different than Weeding Day that was available in New Leaf, which I mistakenly read as wedding day in the past, it looks as though the developers have added wedding themed furniture. I'm assuming these items can be used outside of Harvey's Island since all the items you can use while taking pictures are the ones available in your catalog. And just look at Reese and Cyrus. They really tugged at our heartstrings, adding all these special characters back in. Even if they're small additions, I'm glad they make an appearance. I'm extremely excited that the updates aren't just based on the normal large holidays like Easter, Christmas, Halloween. We get events for the smaller days too. I know a lot of you are in the final stages of setting up your island and are getting to the point where you've done mostly everything there is to do. These almost out of the blue updates will bring fresh new gameplay during our quarantine times. And not a single egg in sight. What are you most excited for? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next Animal Crossing video. Bye! More updates! Are you today? No, tomorrow. <laughs>